G'day guys, Braden Maynard here for another episode of the Black and White Show. Today we're going to find out about Logies and what the boys think about it, and uh, who has the best so-called swagger and who has the worst swagger. So come along with me and we'll go check it out. Uh, hi guys, I'm here with uh, big 611 Mason Cox. Uh, oi. Get off it. First of all, who do you think will uh, win the Logies this year? Um, yeah, I, I'm not actually sure what the Logies are. Uh, <laughs> I reckon, show me the list again, please. <laughs> the guy in the Revenant, what's his name? Who hasn't won it in ages? Didn't he win the it? Gun, the gun, the hell? Yeah, um, Lino the Is that what the, the Logies are? The little lady from SBS does a really good job, Lee Lin Chin. Uh, she uh, does. Do you want to give a bit of some per, uh, personation yeah, for Yeah, I was watching her the other night, uh, about 7.30 it was, um, and on uh, World News, SBS Now, we have uh, foreign correspondents. Coming up in SBS World News, the Liberal Leadership Showdown brought forward to 9am tomorrow. She just, she's very yeah, nice. articulate in what she does. Oh, it's Australian, okay. So, uh, the, uh, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what the Logies were. Uh, it's a bit of like a poor man's Oscars, but uh, I'm going to go with... Peter Hellier, um, I hear he's a Collingwood fan and uh, met him before, so he's a really nice guy, so hopefully he uh, pulls one home, whatever it looks like. Yeah, nice, nice, Peter Hellier, yeah, I'll back him as well. Oh, I like them all, mate, Scotty Cam's pretty good, Kerry Bigmore, Waleed Ali's, they're all great. You know? Yeah, I've got no idea who that is, but uh, anyway. Um, what is that, what are they? Yeah, he's really good though, he's my favourite. I love um, sitting sitting home on a on an Arvo, weekday Arvo and uh, listen to Family Feud, have a bit of fun. Yeah, nice. Right, so at the club, who do you think, if they did not play football, who do you think would take up a career in acting? Oh, Jared Blair, no doubt. Yeah, he dives all the time. Nah. Sticks his and gets the free all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll agree with that, I'll agree with that. With a few interviews, like clips I've done through Colin Media, I think um, I think they've actually sent a few of mine off to Hollywood, so... Oh, yeah. So, so I, haven't, I haven't heard back yet. Thanks, John. It's a really great present. I really needed a set of steak knives. Well, I'm not going to lie, but I have been told that I look like Tom Hardy. So. I don't know who the hell Tom Hardy is. Who's Tom Hardy? I'm Gotham's Reckoning. Swanee's great, yeah. Swanee's great. Um, Sido, Goldie. Goldie's always up and about. He's always... What about Howie? Howie's a bit of a character. He's your what are your thoughts? You're good Australian. He's Aussie bloke. Bogan. Yeah, Aussie, Aussie bloke. I wouldn't say Bogan, but bloke. <laughs> no, he's a good lad. I'd say Bogan. This is going straight to the pool room. So, who do you think is the best actor around the club, on and off the field? Oh. Yourself? Yeah, I did a bit of Year Twelve theatre actually. Um, so maybe I, yeah, maybe I am. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. And we're going to have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. Faz would do some yeah, crappy, yeah. crappy, like, not that SBS is bad, but I just see him on, like, SBS yeah. doing something. So do I. Yeah. Oh, do you reckon you, if you didn't play football, you'd play, uh, uh, do some acting or you'd go back to basketball? Oh, if there's another Bond movie looking for another Jaws, it's seven foot tall or something like that, maybe. Um, other than that, nah, pretty shocking. So, who do you think would sit down on the couch yeah. and watch yeah, the yeah, most... <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know how much TV that guy watches, but I remember going around his house once and he was just watching a basketball non-stop, so... He loves, he loves his, um, his tape player or his IQ or whatever, and he just he tapes everything home and away. Home and um, away? I watched that in year seven, I think. Seven years switch, married at first sight, all them, Game of Thrones. NBA and all that kind of stuff, so he just gets home and watches yeah. it. But oh, currently Swanee's probably taking the rain. Um, Raymond's probably in there now with the ACL. Uh, playing a bit of COD, watching a bit of uh, Game of Thrones, I'm sure, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, probably those two probably take the crown right now. You like sitting on the couch watching TV much or what? Uh, no, I don't even have cable at the house, so I've just got free to air. Just kind of Maybe not then. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering who you think has the most. Uh, swagger, you could call it, or the best steez at the club. What have you seen? Actually, I'm pretty sure you showed me. Didn't you see like the replay of um, big Mason Cox when he takes it, took his first grab and goes back for 
to keep going Anzac Day swagger once he took the grab. <laughs> if you haven't yeah, seen no. it, have a look at it. He's got a lot of swagger in that. Jonathan Morris would like to take that title. Uh, I'm not going to give it to him. Uh, Darcy Moore would also like to take that title. Oh, best. Give him the bar. Yeah, probably Jesse White. Jesse White's got. Yeah, uh, Jesse White has some really good stuff. Instagram, the Trend Project he runs. He does a whole bunch of um, clothing brands and stuff. So he's quite. I didn't know that. I might have to give it a follow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he has good, uh, good swagger. Well, I think yeah, Marshy does think he does. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Think Thinks he think he does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Darren White's probably. He walks around with a bit of a strut. Um, after coming up from a 95 kilo best bench press, he, he thinks he's pretty good. So, yeah. yeah, I've actually seen him around walk around yeah, with a bit yeah. of a strut. I, I rate Nathan Brown's kit. Yeah, he's a lot. I like Nathan Brown's kit. Um, what do you la like about his kit? We, Shoes. He's like, he hides the dad bod. No, he's a, no, 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 that's that's harsh, but no, rough but fair. He's um, he's charismatic. He's cool. He doesn't like. He doesn't overdo it. Yeah. He knows where he's at and he, and he does it with confidence and that's the most important thing. So who do you think is the worst dress? Who do you think would have no idea uh, how to dress for an event or to go out? Yeah, probably Tim Broomhead. Um, I'll tell you who doesn't have swagger, Ben Reid. Yeah. No swag, no swag. Every time we've got like the Copeland on or we've got something on that we need to wear a suit or something, he'll leave it to the last minute and he'll swing me a text and say, oh, Brownie, do, do you have a white shirt? Do you have... Do you have a belt yeah. or so more unorganised or something like that? Yeah. He just has no idea. Crispy, <laughs> crispy, <laughs> crispy <Boys> jeans. <laughs> yeah, runners, runners and jeans or thongs and jeans. Asics and jeans. Yeah. He had no, no swagger. Thanks, guys, for watching another episode of the Black and White TV Show. We got to find out what the boys really think about the logies and who has the best swagger at the club and who doesn't. Uh, this weekend we played Carlton Football Club at the MCG at 1:45 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Go Pies.